Shalom in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Peace in the name of Jesus, who is the Messiah. This video is an appeal to the gentleman we, who we see on screen here, um, who goes by the name of Uziah. I can't actually say the whole name, so I'm just going to say the bit that I think I can say, Uziah or Uzziah. Um, and uh, in this, it, it's an appeal to you, Uziah, to provide some historical evidence, some historical documentation, or some reference to some historical documentation to back up the claims that you have made concerning the Ebionites. I'm not saying that this evidence doesn't exist. I'm not calling you a liar. But I am asking you to verify your claims, okay? Because, you know, faith, we should never be blind in our faith. We should always uh, look for as much evidence as possible behind something that someone says before we should accept whether or not that thing is true. So, specifically, I'd like um, some evidence for, for this one thing that you said about the Ebonites. By the way, I believe that you are correct in you know some of what you said about the Ebionites because I, I've seen a similar thing in the evidence concerning them however I want some evidence please humbly I ask you for this statement I'm going to talk a little bit about the Ebionites uh, the Ebionites did not believe in the virgin birth narrative Okay, so you said that the Ebionites did not believe in the virgin birth narrative. Okay, uh, what's your basis for saying that? What's your evidence for saying that? Now, I went, I went to your website here that you put up. You put up the uh, um, true Ebionites, and uh, you, you did this. You put this link up, Ebionites.org. So, like the Berean, the Berean that I am, I went to that website. Here we are ebionite.org and it's got this thing here does that say uh, I don't know what that says but so I had a quick look through and I scrolled down because I was looking for history so there we had history I clicked on history and then it came up with this short history of the Ebionite movement um, and it's talking about the 1980s I was like, oh, okay so I scrolled down the ancient Ebionite movement ah, okay this is gonna tell us all about it's gonna give us all the documents so I looked through and it said a lot of things, told us what, um, you know, what they believed in, but it, it talks about much of the Christian writings cannot be trusted at face value. And uh, what it says here, what it points out here is that um, the information that we have concerning the Ebionites, almost all of it comes from the early church fathers, so-called, who were opposed to the Ebionites. I'm not aware of any writings, surviving writings from the Ebionites themselves. Now I, I scrolled down on this website and it basically just told us a lot about the Ebionites without actually giving any evidence. I thought in here it says there are several articles that deal with the ancient Ebionites in the library. So I clicked on the library hoping to get some documentation and source materials. I'm sh I thought that would definitely have the, uh, the information. I clicked on the source materials eagerly anticipating but we got an error sign and uh, I couldn't actually find anything else uh, to point me into the direction of some evidence. All of this stuff is just polemical writings basically concerning um, the Ebionites. No, no historical evidence. So let me explain what I'm after. I'm after primary evidence. Primary evidence. This is from a website called, I don't know what this website is called, History Learning Site. You know, I'm a bit of a historian. I like history. I studied it when I was younger. And primary evidence, it says, is evidence that actually comes from the time being studied in question. Okay? So, I always think when you're studying, you know, events of hundreds and hundreds of years ago, it's always best to first look for primary evidence, evidence written at that time. Now, as far as I'm aware, the only evidence we have from that time concerning the Ebionites comes from the ch early church fathers. Now, you can find lots of information about these, you know, what they said about the Ebionites just by doing a basic Google search. If you do a Google search, Ebionites, you'll eventually come up to a Wikipedia page and then, you know, entitled something like this, Ebionites according to the early church fathers, or church fathers, which has got lots and lots of quotes from people such as Hippolytus, Irenaeus, Jerome, 
Justin Martyr, Origin, uh, Eusebius again, uh, Epiphan Ep Epiphanius of Salamis. Now he's a very key person because he wrote quite a bit about the Ebionites and the Nazarenes. As you can see there, all these quotes from Epiphanius, another one from Irenaeus. Now, um, from these quotes and others that I found from you know doing just basic uh, internet searching, I found two quotes which I think uh, refute your statement. The first one is, is here from Origen. He says, there are some who accept Jesus, talking about the Ebionites, who boast on that account of being Christians and yet would regulate their lives like the Jewish multitude in accordance with the Jewish law. So he says these people kept the law, like Yeshua and the early apostles, and these are the twofold sect of the Ebionites. Notice he says twofold sect of the Ebionites. What does he mean by that? Well, who either acknowledge with us that Jesus was born of a virgin or deny this and maintain he was begotten like other human beings. So you notice Origen, this guy who lived in this period, says that some of them, some of the Ebionites acknowledged that Jesus was born of a virgin. Some of them rejected it. Okay, so we have evidence that some of the, uh, the Ebionites believed in the virgin birth from one um, primary evidence, historical writing from the time. Another one is Eusebius, writing in his his ecclesiastical history, which means history of the church. To cut a long story short, due to time constraints, I'll put the links to, uh, to this on my, on my website, along with the Wikipedia page, oh, sorry, on, on my um, video, so you can uh, investigate for yourselves. And he says this, basically, he disses the Ebionites because he, you know, he thinks they're wrong. But what he says here is that, um, you know, the ancients quite properly called these men, he calls them heretics, Ebionites, because they held poor and mean opinions concerning Christ. It's a play on words there. Ebionites means poor. So he's saying that they had poor, <laughs> poor um, opinions concerning uh, Christ, which is quite funny, quite witty. But he says, for they considered him a plain and common man who was justified only because of his superior value at virtue and who was the fruit of the intercourse of a man with Mary. So he says here, yep, Ebionites considered, rejected the virgin birth. However, he also goes here in verse 3, he says, there are others, however, besides them that were of the same name, i.e. Ebionites, but avoided the strange and absurd beliefs of the former and did not deny that the Lord was born of a virgin. Okay, so my point is there we have two, two statements from people writing a lot closer to the time than we are today saying that some of the Ebionites believed in the virgin birth and some didn't. That's from Origen and from Eusebius. Okay, uh, Uzziah please I'd like you to respond to this video with some historical evidence. In the meantime I would like to point everybody who's interested in uh, studying the Ebionites and the Nazarenes in a bit more detail to invest in this book here. It's called Nazarene Jewish Christianity from the, from the end of the New Testament period until its disappearance in the 4th century. It's by a man called Ray A. Pritz. It's a very in-depth book. It's not that big. I bought it recently and um, it's going to take me a while to get through it because I'm not used to reading in-depth historical analysis but he has he has exhaustive quotes from the church fathers and others you know from the Talmud and other such places um, to try and piece together uh, what we could find out about the early believers in Yeshua who were Torah observant okay so I would really recommend that you you know, you get hold of this book here, it will save you having to mine a load of, uh, having to dig out a lot of historical quotes for yourself because he has them all in this book and I'm sure we'll be able to get a better understanding, an accurate understanding of who these people, the Ebionites, and who these people, the Nazarenes, actually were. Okay, so I'm looking forward to uh, a response from Uzziah, or Uzziah, and uh, on that note I will say Shalom to all.